Welcome to the Orlando Invitational as part of ESPN's Feast Week, presented by Lowe's. We are halfway through the quarterfinal round, and next up, it's USC at 5-1, and one, matching up with the Fairfield Stags from Connecticut, who are 1-4. and four. Earlier today, number 5, Maryland knocked off Temple, 76-69. They'll meet the Harvard Crimson in the semifinals. Harvard winning a hard-fought game over Texas A&M. Ted Emmerich, Andy Kennedy, so glad to join you here on Thanksgiving. A happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Uh, USC, Andy, was actually 5-0 before a loss to Temple last week. They've got a freshman big man in Onyeka Okongwu who is already putting the Pac-12 on notice. Yeah, incredible young talent you can see there. Really does it in a number of different areas. Very efficient scoring the basketball at 18 a game, 61% from the field, and a tremendous presence at the basket. And he pairs nicely with a senior big in Nick Rakosevich. Yeah, when you talk Nick Rakosevich, you've got a guy that has been doing it at a high level during his time in Los Angeles. With he and Okongwu, you're talking 33 and 18 between them. He can stretch you to the three. Incredible rebounder and very, very strong block to block as well. Andy Enfield, USC's head coach, says he hasn't been this excited about a team in a long time. Eight newcomers, including a top 10 recruiting class, according to ESPN. Preseason pick fifth in the Pac-12. Jay Young is on the other side for Fairfield. He is finally a head coach at the Division I level after spending the last decade and a half as an assistant at Stony Brook and Rutgers under Steve Peichel. A basketball lifer right there. And I know when you're a school such as Fairfield, even though they have not gotten off to the start that I'm sure Jay and staff would have chosen, incredible opportunity. Neutral site against a Power 5 opponent on Thanksgiving Day. This is what it's about. And his team is led by Jesus Cruz, the junior from Carolina, Puerto Rico. He has doubled his scoring average from last season, averaging 18 a game, shooting better than 50% from the field, a big guard to pace Fairfield. He's a guy that's going to have to play well today to give the Stags a chance. Our officials, Roger Ayers, Brent Hampton, and Steve Anderson.